what is up guys it's jesse here uh for those of you who are new to the channel thank you guys for subscribing the last time we made a video was about two months ago and there's a reason why um we've actually been keeping a secret from you guys a few actually but the main secret we've been keeping from you guys uh it's gonna get revealed today so the reason why we haven't been making a video it isn't because um of pure laziness or procrastination or anything like that there was actually an event that occurred that actually affected me and i wasn't able to make a video until really now uh well at least i feel comfortable enough to make a video now um i'm still not fully there but uh i work through it so without further ado without beating around the bush i'm gonna go ahead and show you the reason why so if you guys uh have been with the channel for a while you guys have seen small glimpses of this car we took it to winter drive and uh on January 7th, uh, I was unfortunately involved in an accident, including this car. Uh, I wasn't at fault. It was it was 110% their fault. So, like I said, on January 7th, uh, there was an accident where I was involved in this car. And it unfortunately totaled the car. Uh, let me go ahead and show you from the front. So, here in the front, uh, majority, this is right here is exactly where the impact happened uh i was going between the mileage of about 30 to 40 miles per hour i was definitely not at 40 miles per hour but the posted speed limit was at 40 so i was definitely not going over 40 but i was pretty sure i was going like 30 35 so um the accident occurred where i was going straight through an intersection and a lady oh no actually it was a it was a husband and wife um, they were literally turning onto their street and I think they were just not paying attention being so close to their home they were just they, were, they weren't paying attention and they unfortunately like cut across my direct right of way and unfortunately caused an accident where it was unavoidable so it caused my car to get totaled and since then they've actually paid me off which unfortunately took a very long time it took over a month uh, like an, a month and a half uh, they were just basically ha uh, hassling me because they thought somehow some way that I could have been in, like uh, I could have been at fault even like a small percentage which was totally BS because their driver basically said hey I never saw their car since the very beginning and that right there just basically says that he was a distracted driver so he shouldn't have been on the road being distracted so that was very unfortunate um the the like just looking at it like this uh the car doesn't look like it has that much uh damage to it but once you really get down and start looking at the like the suspension components uh the radio support components uh you start seeing that it did take quite a quite a beating so just to show you this is the radius support right here as you can see it's perfect on this side and then once you start getting onto this side you start seeing that it got twisted because uh the impact actually managed to miss uh the crash bar right, right here it runs along like right here it managed to like miss it by a very little so it ma only managed to clip the actual edge of it and then the rest of the impact uh was put upon my suspension components as well as my wheel so at the time of impact i did have uh a full matching set uh the alutex those are 15 plus 6 i mean 15 by 6 plus 24 offset i believe i had those square all around but after the actual accident happened i i got curious uh, curious and i decided to take that wheel off and that's when i noticed that the actual alutex uh was bent so i went ahead and put that one on because it's actually a shorter tire and wheel setup so i was hoping that uh it would not rub because right now if i was to turn the steering wheel the other way uh it will catch right here in the inner i guess this would be like the inner fender but pretty much chassis right there uh the impact was so hard that it shifted the the wheel and suspension components back and it caused the basically the chassis to sit on top of the wheel so i went ahead and just took the alutech and i put that one on there just to have it sitting on a better wheel entire because uh once the wheel bent it started losing air and then it was basically flat um there's no repairing the wheel uh the tire might still be good but even then uh it's not something i'm gonna be attempting to fix 
or use again uh i do want to fix this car still uh because this by far has been the car that i've gotten the most amount of compliments on and i don't mean just like like getting the occasional compliment i mean like easily getting like five to ten compliments every single day and um i've never owned a car that got me that amount of compliments and it makes you feel good whenever someone gives you a compliment on your car because like you put in time you put in effort to make your car look good at least i do uh i love cars uh i think a car kind of it describes who you are so that's how i am with my cars like i have a relationship with every single one of my cars like this by far has been the one that i've man i love this thing but very unfortunate that i got totaled so now um i'm actually planning to do something with this car uh i think it would be pretty fun build uh it's not gonna be a build it's not gonna be a quick build by any means uh i have priorities right now uh, this is not it but i still want to use this chassis i don't know if it's gonna be this chassis itself or another smart car where i do a, basically a, a reshell i want to resell this car i love this car so i, I would love to reshell it i've had it since it has 17,000 miles now it has 49,000. so i've maintained it like it should and i know it's gonna run easily another hundred thousand miles without a problem so like I said, that was the main reason why we haven't been making a video. Um, the main reason why we haven't been making a video was because of the accident. Uh, after the accident occurred, I started uh, getting chest pains immediately after the accident occurred. And I've never had to deal with chest pain, so... Um, I don't know how to say it, but it's like a depressing thing when you want to work on your cars like every single day, but you can't because you really can't physically... Ha like you physically I really physically didn't have uh, core strength for literally two months uh, it it's over two months now and I'm I'm still getting chest pain so that tells you something um, I'm pretty sure it's because of the smart car because this car has absolutely no crumple zone so all that shock went straight into the cabin and I went from basically going 35 miles an hour to zero so I know the sea boat definitely did some damage to my chest um and then i've been having back pains which is a weird thing because like i said i've never had chest pains or back pains um but now it's it's getting it's getting better so now i think i can actually start doing car stuff so i'm excited to do that now um but like i said this car is officially out of service right now but on the bright side i did go ahead and pick up another car and i think you guys are going to actually really love it um I'm adding a little bit of variety to the to the Prevail Motorsports family. Um, I didn't want to keep, I could have got another smart car, but since Gus has a smart car, and then there's this smart car, and then I would get another smart car, it would be like, basically like our ice syringes, we have like three of those, so I didn't want to do that. So I picked up a different car. Um, I was hesitant because I love rear wheel drive, but this is gonna be basically the hint. It's a front wheel drive. I went back to my, I guess you could call it my roots. Uh, I had a prelude before, so it was front wheel drive. So I guess I'm going back to my roots, but um, that's going to be the only front wheel drive I own now, I think. I think. <laughs> but uh, that's for another video. Uh, and a lot has been happening behind the scenes. Uh, the ATS, her name is Aaliyah. I don't think I've ever put it out there, but her name is Aaliyah, the, the Cadillac ATS, my, my ATS. Uh, it actually did pick up a sponsor. So I'm excited to uh, show you guys that. That's for another video though. So um, there's actually another car that left our possession. It's Gus's. Um, and he's actually picking up another car. So you guys are gonna, I know you guys are gonna love that car. Uh, it's, it's freaking sick. So excited to show you guys that. Um, a lot more content will be coming out. I'm sorry, I've been, I've been lagging it with the videos, but like I said, um, there was a cause behind it. It wasn't just because of pure laziness or procrastination. Um, and now I should start getting on the on the rhythm again. Yeah, guys, um, just want to let you guys know what has been happening behind the scenes. Uh, I was really hes hesitant to make this video because I didn't want to seem like a little bitch. But it is what it is. Accidents occur. Luckily, I wasn't at fault. It wasn't something I was at fault of. So at least I know... In, in my heart that it, it it was it it was good like everything happens for a reason that's 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 how I'm looking at the situation everything happens for a reason and there's always a positive in every negative so 
this is the negative and the other car that's the positive so this happening allowed me to pick up another car and yeah guys i'm super excited about that so i'll catch you in the next one